I am running out of space to store everything. I need to order some new shelves. I need to give away some stones and some knives to make room in my studio. So if you guys are up for some giveaways uh, of knives and whetstones, make sure you are subscribed. In my studio, not counting things that are incoming, I've got about 300 knives to give away. Uh, I'm not joking. I have about 300 knives to give away, and that is not even a joke. Okay, so if you guys want to know more about that, make sure you guys are subscribed because every single week or every other week, I'm going to announce a giveaway on my channel in my videos somewhere in the beginning or at the end. I don't exactly know when. Hey there guys, welcome back, Ricky here. All right, so I recently received a phone call or actually like a Skype call from my friends over at Sihiro uh, over in Japan. And so anyway, the Skype call was about them sending me new stones. And um, I said, guys, I haven't even like used like 18 of the 21 stones that you guys have sent me. So <laughs> why are you sending me more? They said, well, because we've just come up with some new formulas and we really want you to get these stones and play with them and give us some feedback. So I said, fine, send them here. I didn't know exactly how many stones they were sending me. Um, I was told that it's going to be under the Go uh, the Debado Gokumyo series. If you guys don't know Sihiro very well, they make some of the best soaking stones I have used. The Syrac stones are definitely some of my favorites. And then they have the Rika family of stones, which are amazing. And the Debado series are a really high-end line of stones. Okay, so this is the Debado S. Uh, I don't really know what that means, but it's the the ceramic stone. It says right here in the box, ceramic stone. Uh, as a whetstone company, just as a side note here, uh, Suhiro actually packages their stones better than anybody else, um, like hands down. All right, so the S models have these bases on them, which uh, they function okay. I'm just not a huge fan of bases that they include. Okay, and so it comes apart, apparently, but it doesn't come off the base. Though I think if you pull hard enough, the base actually probably will come off the stone. And it comes with a its own little Nagara uh, cleaning stone. And it's a all plastic base, see here. Yeah, so yeah, it's handy. I guess if you wanted to store it, uh, the neat thing is they actually flip and the stone can actually be stored this way. So you can stack a whole bunch of stones on, uh, on top of each other and uh, you're less likely to actually damage a stone that way. Um, so the only issue I would have against this is if the stone got really wet and you want to air dry it, you would have to keep it up. But uh, yeah, but I don't think many, I don't think many people will actually store them this way enclosed unless you were traveling or something like that, or you had a ton of stones that you want to stack uh, one on top of another. But uh, the base as a overall design, I think this is actually designed pretty well. It's got a nice rubber grip, so it's not plastic. A lot of the stones like a the Nani was, they, ha they give you a full plastic base or it's like a resin mold uh, base. This here is actually rubber on the edges, so it gives you pretty good grip on the countertop or on a cutting board or wherever you sharpen your stone. An 8,000 grit stone. That is an 8,000 grit stone. It is super smooth, like super smooth. And same base. We know that all the stones here, the six stones that we have here in the center are the S stones. I'll shift everything over. This one here is 1,000. And this one is 180. So coarse sharpening and then a polishing uh, 6,000 grit stone. Let's open up the 6,000 grit stone. Okay, so this looks like a fancier box. It's got this beautiful satin sheen. Um, that is a beautiful 6,000 grit stone. Very smooth, and uh, it's got a nice weight to it. Doesn't feel very light, and it's got this nice rubber base, which I think this is actually much handier than you know something like you know something like this that is kind of you know locked onto your stone. Uh, this one you can put on different platforms. Uh, if you were sharpening on your counter on your countertop. A rubber base like this would be perfect because it elevates your stone off the countertop. It gives you an extra, you know, inch of knuckle clearance on the uh, on the countertop. That's really handy. So I think something like this is actually much more sensible than a plastic base. These three stones: 180, uh, 1,000, and 6,000, uh, part of the LD series. Okay, so now we have the big boys. Uh, these boxes are massive. Ooh, this is the Gokumyo line. And uh, this is the double, this is the uh, Gokumyo double stones, it appears. 
And so I did receive a number of the Gokumio all single grit stones uh, from the 10,000 all the way up to uh, like 20,000. And this is their double stones. Um, <laughs> look how big these boxes are. So let's see how big the stones are. Okay, these are the stones. They're huge. <laughs> They're huge. All right, so I've never seen this before, but the two sides of the stones are actually two. It's like they literally took two different stones and glued them together. You can see here that, you see that? There's actually a step. <laughs> so they didn't even bother like sanding these stones down to make a match. They literally took two stones and glued them together which is how dual stones are made. But the difference is they actually didn't bother, you know, uh, making them same width and same length, which I think is cool. Just to give you guys a perspective of how big these stones are, this is a Chosera. This is a Debato Gokumio. So it's about an inch taller and about an inch wider. Okay, so it's, I mean, it's definitely a hefty stone. Now, mind you, this says dual cleaner right there. It's not a dual cleaner, at least it wasn't in the last time. So this is the this is the cleaner. There's nothing dual about it. You don't remove the Nagara from the base uh, or from the handle. It's a single, but it's called dual, maybe because it was made with the dual series. I don't really know. Okay, so this is the 2000 and 150. So interesting. I think this series of Debato of this Gokumio will offer a 150 on every stone. Interesting. So here we go. This is a 2000 grit stone. And uh, it feels like a 2000 grit stone. Very, very smooth. And I believe both sides are soaking. And uh, all the stones I've used from Sahiro so far are all soaking. Um, this is going to be interesting because now, according to my contact over Sahiro, these are supposed to be hybrid stones. And that's something that I've never used before. So they basically took. Uh, you know, natural stones that I guess didn't quite make the natural stone selection um, as a whole stone, and they grounded up those stones into, um, you know, uh, powder, and then they took synthetic stone powder, put them all together, and that's where the Gokumio line comes from. Okay, so I've got 12 brand new Sihiro sweat stones here. Uh, so these stones here are going to be integrated into my other stones. And if you guys are not aware, I have a few other stones here. Um, let me show you what else I have from Shihiro. That if you guys missed the original unboxing of it, this is what I have from them. What I have right here is half of what was sent to me from the last shipment from Shihiro. Uh, I They sent me every single Syrax stone and all of their Debato stones at that time. If you guys aren't aware, I've got a whole restoration series that I'm going to be doing where I take knives, uh, broken knives, um, rusted out knives that are just completely done, and I'm going to bring them back to life. And so I want to do them using different whetstones. And so you guys, hopefully every week as I actually do it, or every month or two, um, I will put out either a voting, um, either a survey, or you guys can leave in the comments what stones you guys want me to use for the next repair. That way... I will repair a knife so you guys will get a restoration video and at the same time, if you guys want to watch the full length video, you guys will see the Weststone review within that video. And then obviously I will release a shorter version for those who just don't have the patience to watch, sit through a you know, 35, 45 minute uh, knife restoration video. I got some hate mail recently from some people so that they're saying, they were complaining that I'm not giving things away to non-subscribers. I don't know of any channels that give things away to non-subscribers. Um, so I hate to say, you know, I hate to put it that way, but if you're not a subscriber, then that's cool. You can watch the videos, but if you guys want to win stuff, you guys need to be a subscriber. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just noticed something on these whetstones. They did bottle S. It says here, no water absorption. No water absorption. These are splash and goes. Sweet Hero has finally gone into the Splash and Go game. <laughs> that is really exciting. Because now the Chosera, the Super Stones, and the Shafting Glass Stones now have some real competition from other manufacturers. That is exciting. Shafting Glass, Chosera, watch out because Sweet Hero is coming for you. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. I promise you. New series on the way. After my best knife picks in 2017 video was released, a number of you guys actually reached out and asked me if I was able to get a discount code 
for Enzo knives. And yes, so they actually replied with a very positive yes. I will leave a link in the video description to the page that will actually list all of the products that the code is good for. And for those who don't know a whole lot about Enzo knives, I will leave a link in the video description or the card here to my 2017 best knives of the year. You will see that Enzo actually made the cut for a number of categories. Now, Enzo really made a huge impression on me in 2017. They made three knives that really stood out to me. And the first knife is the Aiden Chef knife. The second knife was the Nakiri, and the third knife, and by far one of my favorite knives to use, period, is the 5.5 inch prep knife. The 5.5 inch prep knife also happens to be my wife's favorite knife as well. It's a really great knife. All these knives here come razor sharp out of the box. They also have a really nice VG10 core steel, and a very comfortable handle, and a very beautiful Tsuchime or hammered Damascus finish. The Enzo Cutlery knives have a very special place in my heart because they give you a lot of performance for your buck and definitely one of the most well put together knives that I have used in my kitchen. Alright guys, well thank you again for being here. We'll catch you in the next video.